What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, 20D2Wild, checking in once again back with the Bank of the Day, guys. And you see the title, you see the article here. Um, Nike is decreasing supply of Air Force Ones and other classics. Now, I've already known this was going to happen. It was just only a matter of time since everyone else started reporting on it. The reason being is because I've seen it all over on social media. I've seen it on from various sites that I, you know, know of, even Soul Play being one of them, that... There are tons of sales going on throughout the sneaker world right now. Tons of sites selling shoes for 20% off, 30% off, 40% off, 50% off. Pretty much, if it's a Jordan man or if it's a Nike, you can get it on sale if you just can wait it out a little bit. Because a lot of these products are not selling out. The supply is um, outweighing the demand and the demand is low due to a lot of factors you know one the economy uh maybe one is just the oversaturation of releases various different things play a part in that matter and i think that the way that nike can combat this is of course by one what they've done before is i think they've already you know laid off tons of people they've said they were going to be laying off tons of people i think doing like a five percent uh something of the matter where they were going to be like like sending out less product to stores a lot of different things that would basically lower their operating expenses um and let's just take a look because it was like something like nike operating expenses or something that they were doing um let me see it was a it was something that was an article about 45 Nike warns revenue dip as it cuts back on key products. Here it goes. Yeah. Well, this is even a more new one, though. Nike warns of a revenue dip as it cuts back on key products. So maybe that's also goes into what we're talking about today about reducing of a revenue dip for the fact that they're going to be cutting back on keep it pretty much speak for itself. Nike warning came after the stock market closed and shares were down about 6% in the extended trading. Executives acknowledged that Nike's direct to consumer strategy was not driving growth as expected and that it was losing ground in the running category. So Nike's direct to consumer strategy, meaning Nike was trying to go directly to consumers. I wonder if that also played a part here because if you guys remember a couple years back how they were saying that um, Nike was going to be cutting off a lot of the mom and pop stores from releases and that they were going to be going more so directly to Nike. It seems as if that right there is a sign of them cutting back and possibly reverting back to the stores a little bit more or relying a little bit more on the stores when it came to that though you really saw a lot of that happening with like the foot lockers and the malls like not getting that much product in december nike outlined a two billion here it goes two billion dollar savings plan which included reducing the supply of underperforming products and improving its supply chain this is what we're talking about in a post results call on thursday nike cfo matthew uh, friend that's a goddamn weird name told investors that the company was cutting back on orders of classic shoes such as the air force one as well as current Pegasus running shoes as it shifted its focus to upcoming launches and developing new product. So they're not trying to focus on the OGs and trying to focus on creating something new, which I think a lot of us like. You know, we don't, a lot of people's elite, I love classics, don't get me wrong, but people have made this term that Nikes just keep dropping the same shit over and over. It's not about a product or an item here and there, it's about building a robust pipeline of innovation. So once again, Nike's speaking on new product not relying on the old product and this can come in some shape or form with the jordan brand as well it could be we set the wait and see but air force one is one that they're talking about nike beat wall street estimates for uh, th uh three quarter revenue and profit on the back of a holiday season discounts and new sneaker launches including the ultra fly a trail running shoe on which it views as a way to draw back customers amid rising competition from brands like ano and decker's hoka so let me see basically uh, Nike reported a three percent jump in north america its largest market and five percent rise in greater china as heavy promotions on its jordan shoes attracted customers during the all-important shopping season gratitude 11s and i'm happy they mentioned jordan because it was you know i want people to know, know that even i mean you know nike is the big daddy here at the end of the day but jordan does still have its impact you know nike said revenues rose 0.3 percent to 12 0.43 billion 
beating LSG estimates of 12.28. There's nothing here that shows there's anything unusual in the quarter as far as what it means for the company's turnaround. It doesn't mean much because the company is in a restructuring situation, but it's really only started. There we go. So that's a little bit there. And now moving into what Sneaker News is going to say, which is probably going to correlate a lot with that recent release. Uh, report we just saw but if you're an air force one fan better start stocking up now white air force ones available here and white air force ones have been going on sale on a lot of stores i know soul play's been doing 20 percent off here and there um back to back to back and nike's uh physical 2024 third calendar conference call cfo matt friend confirmed that nike would be pulling back supply of classics such as the air force one as a response to the brand's focus on pushing innovation and newness further and the latest uh, last earnings call nike recognized the oversaturation of some retro product with many once converted icons ending up on sales racks air force ones was again and we're not talking about like just regular air force i mean the all whites we're talking about these. I mean, if you just look at Air Force One, and I know this because I know this from being in Soul Play and just walking around and seeing the amounts of colorways. Like, there was a point when this was cool, but now it's gotten like just so many different ones. So I can see with the issue. Soul Play, they actually have, now that I think about it, they have a. Uh, and this is no shameless plug, but I want to say that they have a 60% off sale on all Air Force Ones on their website. Now, let me, I believe right now, though, there is like an Air Force 60 sale or it's something like that of this nature on a, a lot of a lot of pairs that's been tweeted out various. I think I even tweeted it. So go on my Twitter and check it out. It's somewhere on there, but it's there, though. Trust me, it's a whole category of Air Force Ones going for 60% off. <clears throat> um so yeah they're choosing to pull back including then the dunk the pandas for sure see the full excerpt in the earnings call below give you a better context surrounding the decision we are in the midst of shifting our this is for, i guess word for word we are in the midst of shifting our product portfolio towards newness and innovation Last quarter, we spoke on the international actions to reduce the market supply of certain key franchises to ensure they remain healthy and strong. So basically, let's cut back on these Air Force Ones and Nike Dunks so that their name can stay strong. Like, we don't want to devalue them by dropping so many and seeing the sales. That, that puts a devalue on the product from their perspective. While seeding and scaling new products, so they want to focus on new products once again, given the way consumers are responding to our newest product journeys, even amidst a more promotional environment, we have decided to accelerate our actions. For example, we are pulling back supply of classics such as the Air Force One and reducing supply of Pegasus, same shit. So yeah, Nike's calling the card is still, innovative, uh, still innovation and marketing and the overall positive response of the Air Max DN is proof. Yes, I like the Air Max DNE, uh, DN. These strategies, so there's, I mean, yeah, I mean, making this something that DN new product is, is cool. Now, the only thing is, Nike, you bring the DN, you don't flood it with 7,000 different colorways, which you guys are kind of potentially looking to do. Because when I went here, at least on this one, I mean, I see one colorway, a two, I think these are men and women's or something like that. So it's three colorways of this, uh, four, five, six, seven eight i mean i get it nine ten like you're, i get it but slow it down a little bit okay slow it down too much nike confirms that more than four thousand physical stores will carry the nike dn product during the launch of the air max day 2024 which is tomorrow so also keep that in mind but i mean i get it i guess it this might be good for this air max day but what i'm saying is they can't discontinue doing this you'll drive the hype the demand for the shoe and i know that we hate the word hype and demand but you see that hype and demand plays a part in a company's revenue and profit they you're not making profit they're not making if there's no demand there's no sale there's no profit the company cannot continue on you know they have to do things like they're doing now that's why they're doing now because the demand is not there i know we we want this we like this but as i stated before our unfortunately the goodness that comes from this that we love so much is going to play a role in how Nike moves forward. So it's like, yo, Tony, why would you be complaining? I'm not complaining that we're getting these items on sale. But what I'm saying is the, the fact that these items are so bad now and on sale, we're now no longer going to get any Air Force Ones. Like the Air Force Ones are going to be depleted. Or now when they drop an Air Force One, it's going to sell out instantly because 
when it was available we didn't jump on it so the, it, it's 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 a it's it's a love hate relationship at the end of the day like i i i do like getting my shoes at you know uh below retailing on on sale but i you know after a while nike's not going to keep letting us just take advantage of that situation so now we're seeing them make a move off that but uh yeah the air force one will be taking the back seat so we'll see how that comes at the end of the day air force one white still is wild like we need those always in rotation so i don't know it's a little wild to see see that potentially happening but we'll just have to wait and see how that actually turns out in the near future but let me know you guys thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section um i love y'all i appreciate y'all as always and uh yeah i'm out peace